Hello everybody, it's Grace Siegel from Visual Content Solution and I want to say hello because I've kind of been out of commission for a while. I've had a few family members, not one but two, with some issues that I needed to get involved in. And you know, family comes first. So I have not been keeping up with my videos as I had intended to, but I've had some real motivation to get restarted. I received a couple of emails from a lovely lady named Amanda, and Amanda asked me to make good on one of the promises that I made in a video that uh, I created uh, instructing about the Maldive app. Now, I'm going to demonstrate right now for you. Maldive um, has some really great templates. One of the things you can see, it's like diptych. You can do a lot of collages. But see that crawl at the bottom? Well, what you've got down there is all of these magazine cover type uh, templates. But the thing that's frustrating about it is that when you go into the template, nothing is really editable except the photo part. So I'm just going to quick pop a couple of photos in here so just to remind you. There I am. And let's get my mom in there. So she's going to be the background. So cute. It's cute, huh? One of the things I've been doing has been uh, living with her, even though my poor husband lives, you know, about five blocks away all by himself right now because she fractured her pelvis. So I've been living at her house with her, getting her back to 100%. Um, there's my daughter. It's like a family affair tonight. Um, but anyway, you can see that's pretty cute. And what I was doing is I was, I was taking my fingers and I was spreading out the photo because um, as you'll see in my example, I didn't do that enough. And when I went to make some changes, she was a little too far up on the page. You'll see what I mean when we get to the Photoshop part. It may even be in, in the editing of this part. Okay, so what I was talking about is, okay, fine and dandy with the photos, but all of this copy, none of it is editable. When I touch and it gives you all these options, all that is uh, giving you options for is the photos. Now, if we go to text here, yeah, okay, we can put text on there, I believe. See, we can put text, but it's extra text. It's not editing this other text that would, you know, that would make it so it would be really cool. It would be like a magazine cover, and you could type all of the things that, that you wanted to say. So there are a couple of options. The easiest thing is to bring it into Photoshop, and even that isn't easy, but it's it's the less the least cumbersome so I had to do a little a little looking around uh, to figure out how to do this because basically what you're gonna have to do if you do this in the phone is you're gonna have to put boxes over the parts that you don't want to see anymore so it's, it's, there's a few apps that you're going to have to use to do that. What I did was I went into WordSwag and I made a couple of different images, uh, you know, just by going to the, uh, the part where you put your own image in and I just selected a solid background for a couple of things. And then I put some copy on it saved it and then if you take into consideration 
like for example I wanted to put a black box where it says on the left 2015 FW trend collection well I just wanted to cover that with a black box so I made a black box that would pretty much fit over that and the way I had her situated see kinda like that you've got a black box there it's just gonna go over that and then uh, you you would really unless these these different headlines happen to be stuff that you thought you know you wanted to keep you would have to box over all of these but you can do it so you create this and you save it right and I already saved it so save it to your camera roll and then make your boxes and you saw I did that and then I went into the photo editing and I cropped them the size that they wanted see I tried a few different things but like California Moms that's going to be the name of my magazine so then what I did was I went into this app that I really didn't have I just looked for it I'm pretty sure I have some layer apps but it just none came to me off the top of my head I wanted to this get this done today so what you do is you just see that plus sign okay I'm gonna choose uh, existing photo and then I'm going to choose the Maldive photo that I is this it? yeah so this is the Maldive template that I put my photos in and I'm going to say OK see at the bottom left? OK now I'm going to add another image and I'm going to go to the photos and remember I showed you this I'm going to do California Moms OK and remove this up top and I'm going to resize it by pinching my fingers in and you see what I was saying it, it's covering my mom's head a little bit too much because you could you can play with it and you can get it just the way you want it see I'm covering up this issue number if you wanted that you could put it maybe underneath the California mom's box uh, but it would have to be boxed and you can do, in WordSwag, you can do a transparent background, and guess what? It works. So you could bring it in here, but the problem with the transparent background, of course, is it's not going to cover this stuff. So now I'm going to do my black box right here, which I had cropped. OK. And then I'm going to resize it, and I'm going to stick it over here. So you see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm customizing this by creating little boxes and to go over the template boxes that are, you know, so stupid. And then see right there it says editor's choice on that. That would be really maybe a little bit difficult to change, uh, but that's something you could leave there. position this a little bit better. I would need to crop it better is really or or make the California mom's box just a little bit a little bit different. Oh gosh. I could play for, with this forever, but I think you get the idea. Now, this is sort of what you're stuck with if you want to do it in your phone and you know this is what I'm all about is doing stuff in your phone. You can do it when you're waiting for your kids to get out of school or at the dentist or at the grocery store and boom if you keep doing that consistently all of a sudden you're going to have this amazing uh, library of images and you know a lot of them you can repeat and use them again so uh, you know it's very worthwhile to do it in your phone but sometimes it's just a little bit easier to bring it into the computer and that's what the second part of this video is about which is editing an image like this in Photoshop you're gonna be able to get it actually if you're willing to take the time exactly the way you want it to be but I would tell you and I'll make another video on this if you're going to use the Adobe programs or even lesser programs that you could buy in the App Store or I'm much more familiar with, with Apple products than PC products, but 
I'm sure you could get image editing. Uh, you could just, you know, bring this photo in, that main photo, like the background of my mom, bring your background photo in, bring your small photo, uh, you know, to sort of position on the cover like the magazines do, and then create these, you know, your headline and all of the little, the you know, the subheads in, in the program. You don't really need to do it this hard way. It's more. It would be better for inspiration, in in my, in my opinion. But if you're if you want to use those templates, because, you know they're they're really very nice. Um, this is the way that you're going to have to do it, unless Maldive you know comes out with an update that changes it so that you can. You can, edit these, but. I believe that what they're thinking is that if you're trapped into having, you know, Moldiv as your headline, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna promote the app. So, anyway, uh, so tune in for the second part of this. I'm gonna sign off for now. I uh, I owe you all a video, um, the very last one. That's when all the everything sort of hit the fan right around the time I was going to make that video and uh, and my contest so I'm gonna be making that video and uh, announcing the details of the contest in the next few days so thank you for bear bearing with me and watching the videos and l let's move on to the second part <laughs>